and back for the next part after stopping drinking something talked to a local kid who asked who I was well stated my name he said he lived here no he lived close by and he talked what I was doing and I told him I was traveling on my bike from Apergedam to Groningen and he also replied it will be dark soon well I have lights I already attached the front light on the bike and also the back light I can switch it on when needed I'm probably going to use them so seven thirty nine at the moment so 35 minutes and then I will be in the city which means I will be there after sunset but that will be okay when the sun sets it's not immediately dark and it's about 35 minutes drive or something I did stop and charge the battery for a bit of course better to do so and then you at least I know for sure that I will make it with the battery to the moment where I am in Groningen city and stop the video and not that like it, end, it ends suddenly or something With the sun setting it gets a little bit colder still in t-shirt and some shorts but it's okay for now it only will be uh, getting a lot colder which means i have to step on the pedals a bit harder this time not take a detour when i went here from Groningen to Appegedam i a little bit of a detour took a wrong turn somewhere uh, could it be any different well through the walking she came not a major problem bug on me is traveling with me for free I hope the video image is still a bit watchable should be should be light and out light enough outside still oh this could be darker here because the trees left and right like I said probably be able to get home before it's totally dark but if it's dark well I'm gonna change setting on the camera for low light condition and I'm gonna switch on the bike light by the way by the way I drank a soda in a can, aluminum can. I was a spot where I could have put the can in the trash container. One of the people who occupied occupy the homes, but I did not do so. I put it back in the bike bag and 
will throw it away when I get home. Because, you know, I don't know if the people in Temple would have to pay for garbage disposal by the weight, so... And it's certainly not nice to put your rubbish in their container, because then they have to pay for my rubbish. Now, soda can is not the heaviest material, not the heaviest object, object but still... Nice sky, by the way. Nice cloud, blue cloud, blue sky, some cloud. Really looks nice. Don't know if the camera picks it up. Well, sun is two, two o'clock for me. It's just above the horizon, behind some clouds, so I can feel it's getting colder. Good thing it's still dry, really nice. Don't like rain, rain gets you cold and wet. And of course my camera is not waterproof, so it will be also a bit of an issue. It's the main and major issue. I would have brought a case with me, but when I put the camera in, it's a horrible sound. I have to secure the camera quite tight in the waterproof housing and then close it. the door, the waterproof door, and then the sound is muffled. And also when I attach the camera to the harness, it's flopping around like crazy and rattling, which does, well, really sounds sometimes when you like tap with a metal key on the outside of the camera, hearing a really distorted and hard sounds, really not okay to listen to. Well, like I said, it's dry. I have uh, the camera in a slimline case, plastic casing around the camera. It's actually I'm able to attach to the harness with a screw and a what is called a J hook. It literally is what it is. It's a hook shaped in a J. Well, quite, quite, quite stretch of road. Like I said, a good gone over to the left, way over to the left on the bike lane next to the the main road. But then you would have heard cars whooshing by. It's a tedious sound, and I thought to myself, let's go here. It's a shorter route. It's the quieter route. And I think the nicer one, although it's nothing to entertain you except me, and I'm not pretty sure if I am very entertaining. Maybe you switched the sound off by now and thought to yourself, let's rattle, hit, let's let him rattle, but then I don't want to hear. And that's okay. Even if you did not like or do not like the video and you still watched at least a part, of course I'd rather have a like, but I 
sometimes I do not even notice this. Somebody put a dislike in. You certainly can see. And if you have any suggestions or comments to well maybe improve things or requests or questions just ask just ask by the way when I left this morning I had 574 subscribers unique subscribers which is quite nice also to say subscribers come and go The amount of subscribers is rising slowly. Also, what I could see in the analytics on my video channel that I have also many views from non subscribers. So, there's those people if you stumbled off my channel and you thought, well, that's a nice video and I'm gonna view it, consider subscribing, always appreciate it. Nice sporty girl on rollerblades. Really flat surface to get your blades out and skate. And she does skeelers, so there's another one. You can see by the way people moving. Looks like ice skating, but then with wheels. Looks like somebody who done it before. I would be scared, scared as hell. Not only on the ice, but also on the asphalt. When you drop on the asphalt, you will rip your skin open. In winter time on the ice, when you're ice skating, you fall. You probably slide over the ice and just bruised. You get bruised, but not that you cut your skin open. and a swarm of small flies in my face luckily I had my mouth closed Christ this is where I wanted to go when I went in the other direction but I missed uh, misinterpreted something and went somewhere totally else totally different Eight minutes before eight. As you can see, darkness is slowly setting in. I can still see quite all right with my own uh, eyes, but I know the camera makes things a little bit uh, darker. Because my own eyes uh, pick up more light and is able to cope with darkness better than camera is not because it's a cheap camera but it has to do with the fact that it's an action cam and the sensor picking of light is not a very large one the bigger the sensor the more light hits the processor and the lighter the image will be
Waar het van die meneer met hem? Not sure where this gets me, but one thing I know for sure is it gets me in Leeuwenborg. And it's getting quite dark here. Really, yes. Some kind of back road here. Wow. Time. Five minutes before eight. Really getting dark. Let's stop here and do two two things. Switch on the backlight and change stamina settings.